If you're looking for a fun adventure, you don't have to go far. There is always something new and interesting happening at Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo Aquarium. Our zoo crew is with us today to tell us what's happening at the zoo. Audrey Harmon, the zoo's senior bird keeper <laughs> here, and she brought along a special guest. This is Frank, everybody. Yeah, this is Frank. Frank is a military macaw, and um, he's been here at the zoo for about 19 years. Wow. Yeah. How, uh, how old do these birds get? These guys can live about 50, 60 years. Oh, wow. Yeah, so they, are, they do have a good long life. I typically say roughly, you know, the lifespan of, them, <laughs> of a <Whoa>. human. <laughs> Frank is a talker, folks. My goodness. And you said he's a military macaw. Military macaw. And uh, <gasps> the coloring there has something to do with it? Yeah, they, him, his species name is just from that coloration. He has that really good army green, um, you know, <laughs> very vibrant. If you look a little closer, like you can see there's some blue on his tail, there's sure. red up top. There's actually red like in his feathers, oh red on his Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful bird. Yeah. <laughs> Frank always this talkative? Yes. <laughs> the yes. feathers too, it almost looks like the texture. Pretty, pretty uh, feathers. Yeah, and he also, he can actually lift them up. So right now he's kind of puffed up. <laughs> he's pretty excited to be here. Oh my gosh, he is. Well, we're excited to have you, Frank. Frank, just one of the many things that you can check out at the zoo. Uh, you guys still have uh, Ghouls and Glow going on? Yes, Ghouls and Glow is our last weekend. Oh, um, wow. So Thursday, Friday. <laughs> Saturday, Sunday, so last weekend. You definitely should check it out. It's amazing. So good for the kids. Yeah, so colorful. I've heard great things yeah. about it. So last weekend, check that out. Uh, also, backstage experiences. Yes, we still have backstage experiences. Um, and we're starting to wrap up the um, uh, golf cart tours. So you definitely want, if you're interested in those, you should get those, um, sign up for those because yeah. we're going to end for this. <laughs> And, th and those are uh, experiences you might not get otherwise, yeah. so definitely check those out behind the scenes. Uh, and Wildlife Safari Park. Yes, Wildlife Safari Park. Um, it's out in Ashland, so you don't want to miss it. Um, and it's all, we have all those native species out there, and you can do some fun things. <coughs> we just got the new bison overlook out there, and it's really beautiful. I just went out there a couple weekends ago, and it's amazing. Aren't bison like the largest mammal in North America, something like that, do you know? Sound about right. I, I don't work I with them. <laughs> You're the bird lady. Yeah, I work with these guys. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, and where did you say we find Frank? So, so Frank's actually not on display in the winter. In the summer, you can visit him in the Garden of Senses. We have other macaws in the jungle. Okay. Um, so you can always go to the lead jungle, and you can actually see some other macaws there. But Frank's kind of this is a little special visit that oh we have. Oh, goodness. Um, in, the, in the summer, you can come down and see him in the Garden of Senses, So cool. Though. I'm sure he'll be yapping, yapping away <laughs> this summer, too. Frank, good to see you. Thanks for coming in, buddy. <laughs> Thanks for coming yeah, in. Yeah, you have a good one. <laughs> We're back after the break with Sean's updated seven-day forecast. You're watching KETV Newswatch 7 at noon. Anything else to say, Frank? No? Be quiet. <laughs> Oh, uh -huh.